Let's jump into the, is there anything else we should cover no. about accepting job offers? All right, let's jump into stage five. So stage five is advancing your workplace career. So welcome to stage five. And this is stage five of the book here, what we're talking about. We talk about, and, and so the way I wanted to, to start off the conversation here on stage five is we talk about sponsorship a lot in terms of support for a work visa. But the term goes deeper than that, as you explain in the book. We can also have sponsors in our workplace. So we're hired and we also have an internal sponsor. And it's in a way people who have your back in some way, people who are looking out for you. Tell me a little bit more about what you have to say about the concept of a sponsor. It's not just a legal term right. here. It's a right. 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 No, it, it's about once you're in an organization, um, you know, in some ways, if you do a good job, you will be patted on your head and told to just keep doing that job. And you may or may not be put forward for additional assignments, growth, or opportunities. Um, and what's important is that people above you or several very specific kinds of people see your value and put your name forward. Mm -hmm. And so you need people who are in the organization who are really sponsors and champions of you. Mm -hmm. And so that's up to you either to officially in some organizations or unofficially make relationships. And it's not always by your work and it might not be a direct reporting relationship, but you identify someone who has knowledge or who has a relationship or a reason that you think you could connect with them. Maybe you meet with them once a quarter and share what you're doing, get mm -hmm. their advice, but you build that bridge so that they can be a supporter of you in your growth. Do any examples or stories come to mind in that regard for you? Well, definitely, because in my- People you work with? Yeah, in my career at Nestle, I saw that all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes these were done officially through various of the employee resource groups, through the women's networks groups. And sometimes they were more informal based on the relationships that people made through um, activities outside the office or boards that people were on or opportunities within the company, serving on the United Way task force or team. Mm -hmm. You get to meet more people in a company and then you find those people who are going to be your allies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The the thing that I heard spoke, the so the, 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 the contrast that to someone who, who just does good work and doesn't build relationships internally, doesn't find a sponsor internally, and then there's an economic downturn or some decision to reorganize guess guess which people let go or let go first it has not a lot to do necessarily with the work product right. it's more about who do, does the senior managing director have a relationship with you know the people in the room making those difficult decisions are going to have relationships with people it and, also relates to kind of how you have made yourself valuable more than the work mm. and and i think it relates to even the employee resource groups and for example if you're yes. on a campus, you could reach out to um, Benson Hills Employee Resource Group or to Goldman Sachs's Women's Network, or you could reach out to people who are in an affinity group and meet them. But when you're in the company, joining those groups gives you a chance to make relationships. You also may become a leader in one of these other organizations within the company, and that positions you to be a future leader um, because you have shown that you have the ability to do more. So it can help you get in the organization. It can help you build the organization. Mm -hmm. It can help you advance and it can protect you if there are layoffs. Mm 